If you're looking for a way to start a business that you can do completely from home without having to hold any inventory and has a low startup cost, then this is the video for you. What if I told you that there's a way that you could be making money passively, and I mean 24 hours a day, seven days a week, all by just having a laptop, Wi-Fi, and a little capital to get started with. Well, that's what Shopify dropshipping can do for you, and the best part of this business is that absolutely anyone can do it. It does not matter if you're a complete beginner with absolutely no experience, because I'm gonna be showing you in this video exactly step-by-step step what you need to be doing to start your very own Shopify dropshipping business. And at the end of this video, I'll be comparing dropshipping stores that are making making money versus stores that are losing money so that you know exactly what to avoid with your own dropshipping store. Now, we're about to get into it, but if you want the opportunity of winning a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with my team and I to get all of your questions answered and streamline your success while doing so, smash that like button down below and in the comment section down below, comment the word entrepreneur with your biggest takeaway from this video. And I will be announcing the winner from last week somewhere inside this video, so make sure to stay tuned the entire way. Now, you might be wondering, well, what even is Shopify dropshipping? Why is that a business I should get into? And why should I even believe you? Well, to break it down, Shopify dropshipping is an order fulfillment method where you as the online business don't have to keep any of the inventory or the products that you sell in stock. And ultimately, it goes a little something like this. The first thing you do is you create an online store with Shopify. Find a product that you want to advertise and a supplier who actually has the product in stock. Then you start running ads on social media and when a customer comes into your store and buys that product for the price that you're selling it at, you then go purchase that product from your supplier for a lower cost and have them ship it directly to your customer, again, without having to hold a single piece of inventory. So for example, if I go to Google and search portable baby bed, I can see dropshipping stores selling this product for roughly right around $40. But although they're selling that product for $40, they're able to get it from a supplier site just like this one for much less. And what this means for you is that you're able to start a business at a low cost, hold no inventory, and start making money 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if you don't want to know how to do that, then this video is not for you. I personally started my own Shopify dropshipping store four and a half years ago and within six months generated $1.7 million and now I've helped students create results just like this one on the screen. Now, as you can imagine, based on what I just talked about, figuring out the product that you're going to be selling is one of the first steps of getting started with your dropshipping store. My personal opinion is that you find a product that meets a couple different requirements. Starting off with number one, it's on some sort of an upward trend. With the dropshipping business, it's very important to understand what is actually in demand by the customers. The same way that you see stores set out certain products around different trends or seasons is the same way you're going to look for products to sell on your store. And to give you a quick example of what I mean, I'm gonna head over to Google Trends and type in workout. Now on here, you can see that each and every year, consumers start searching the term workout at the end of December, heading into January, which ultimately means that selling a product that is relatable to working out on your online store would be way more favorable than selling something like a swimsuit, which is completely trending down right now. Now the second is the product solves some sort of problem. When selling products online, you have to have the capability to make people feel like they don't just want the product, but need the product. And the best way to do that is by having a product that solves some sort of problem that everyday people might be having. So the Third is the product that you're selling should have a value of more than $25. And ultimately, there is a sweet spot that consumers are willing to spend online, which ranges from $25 to $100. So falling in between that range is important, but making sure that it's a product that consumers can see being valued at that much is just as important. If you're trying to sell a basic bath mat for $40, customers are going to have a hard time purchasing that because the value for their money is not there. But if it's a non-slip, quick drying, long lasting bath mat, customers start to see the value for what they're spending and are willing to spend more for the product. And I've already dropped a whole video explaining product research, so make sure that you check that out to get more insight on how to find these types of products that you wanna sell after this video. But before I show you how to do that, I understand that it can be very, very difficult to learn everything that you need to know from YouTube. So if you're looking for tailored one-on-one -on -one mentoring to get started with your Shopify dropshipping business with hands-on help from my team and I, reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton, DM me the word mentorship, or apply for the limited spots I have available with the link down in my description. Now, when you actually do go ahead and sign up for your Shopify account, the basic plan is going to be all you need to really get going. And now that you have your Shopify store account open, it's time to look for some inspiration as to how you wanna design your store, your logo, and the product page for your product. And trust me, I understand, designing your Shopify store can be a mountain to climb if you've never done it before. 
which is why I always suggest looking at other Shopify stores so you can get an idea of what you could potentially be doing on yours rather than just trying to come up with it all from scratch. And I see this happen to beginners all the time. They open the store, then they get overwhelmed with exactly what it should look like. Use your resources. And in no way am I just saying go copy a store for everything that it has, but to use it to help inspire the design of yours. When starting your Shopify dropshipping business, I always suggest that you start off with what is called a general store. When you think of a general store, I always want you to think of a Target or something like a Walmart. Where you see, if you come look at these categories, they're selling everything. I mean, from furniture to kitchen and dining, to electronics, to beauty, personal care, the list goes on and on. And this is the purpose of a general store. It's a store that allows you to sell different products that might not be related or fall under the same niche so that you can keep testing until you find something that actually sells well for you without having to start a new store every time you just wanna sell something different. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive and take a look and see if we can find any dropshipping stores that give you some inspiration for how your store can look. So for this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in a baby product in Google and then I'm gonna turn on this Google Chrome extension called Commerce Inspector That's going to tell you if I'm looking on a Shopify store or not so that you know what you should potentially mold your store off of and What you shouldn't and I just typed in baby nail trimmer and it's showing me all these different products right here Now is where you would head into a couple of these stores validate if they're a Shopify store See what you like what you don't like about it so you can officially start creating your own and you can just open any of these up There's no right or wrong answer and let's go ahead and check out this one for example. You see how this little magnifying glass right here is lit up? Well, that's Commerce Inspector telling me that this is a Shopify store. And this product page is not bad. I mean, it has some really nice colors. I like the way that it matches all the way down, only focusing on three colors max, black, white, and one separate color. Their logo is pretty simple, but nice in general, meaning it's not related to one specific product so that they can sell whatever they want. And I can tell that this is what they're doing. You wanna know how I know? Because if I come over here to this homepage, you can see that they're selling basically every single niche that there's out there. From men's fashion, women's fashion, baby's fashion, they're selling it all. Now, what I don't like is that their product images are not clear at all, and their homepage seems kind of messy, which are two things that you know you would wanna do better with your online store. And you wanna do this across the board. So you wanna do this for multiple competitors who are all selling the exact same product. Finding the good, the bad, the ugly, I mean, finding everything about what they're doing. And after doing this for a while, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of what you like and what you don't like based off of what you see other dropshippers are doing. And then it's time to get into the actual build of your store so that you can start selling your products and completely wipe out your competition. But hold on now. First and foremost, you're going to have to create a domain in your Shopify account, which is where customers are going to be directed to when they actually see your advertisement. And to do this is very simple. You simply just come over here to settings. You go down over here to domains. And then you would click on this button where it says buy new domain. And once you type in a bunch of different names, it's going to tell you if they're available or not. And if it is available, it's gonna look something just like this and then you'll just go ahead and click on buy. And your domain can be anything that you want. But remember, just keep it general. Don't think too long or too hard about it. And then once you actually have your domain created, that's when it's time to create your logo surrounding your store name. I like to use Canva because it's absolutely free and it has some really dope templates that help make creating the logo as simple as possible for a beginner like yourself. So let's head into Canva and let me show you how easy it is to get the logo done. It's as simple as this, just type in canva.com and this is the first screen that you should see. And if you come over here to the search bar where it says, what will you design today? and you type in logo and click enter, you're gonna see all these templates that you have readily available for you. So for this example, let's go ahead and choose this logo right here. And I'm about to show you right now, even if you have absolutely no experience, how easy it is to create a logo. So let's take this one for example, I'm just gonna go ahead and customize it, put my own logo name in here. Again, you can change the font to whatever font you want. As you can see, it only takes a couple clicks. Again, I like having my store three colors, black, white, and one separate color. So I'm gonna treat my logo the exact same. So I might make this one blue, I could keep this one black, and then I could just change the other half of this text too. And I mean, this literally took me like five seconds to do. Again, you should never overcomplicate this. And now that you have your logo ready to go, it's time to head into your Shopify store to start the build. But before we head into it, I wanna let you know that if you're having any questions about this video, or about how you can get started with your own Shopify dropshipping business, you know I'm here to help out in any way possible. Head over to my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton. DM me the word YouTube if you have any questions so I can reach out and help out in any way possible. Now, heading into the store, the first thing that you're gonna do is choose the theme of your store, which ultimately just means the layout. And Shopify has some amazing free themes that look great on mobile and desktop. Take a peek through them and choose the one that you like the best. 
And then after that, once you have your theme picked, we're gonna start working on the design of your homepage first. When creating your own Shopify job streaming business and focusing on a general store, you wanna make sure that your homepage looks as clean, professional, and general as possible. That means very inviting photo covers, congruent colors throughout the homepage, anything else that you can think of to give it that official look. This is where finding inspiration from other job streaming stores really comes into play. So let's go ahead and get into the build of everything. So how to do that is you're gonna come over here to your online store and you're gonna go ahead and click on customize. Again, this is gonna be after you've already added your theme. And then once you go ahead and click on online store, this is basically what you should be seeing. And this is where you're able to control the entire layout of your store. So first thing I'm gonna do is come over here to this announcement bar. And this is where I'm gonna take advantage of whatever season or holiday is currently happening. So since we're in the winter right now, that's what I'm gonna take advantage of. Something like this, winter sale ending soon, 50% off select items. Now I'm gonna come down here to the header and I'm gonna go ahead and upload that same exact logo that I just created. And then once you go ahead and input that logo, this is exactly what it should look like. Scrolling down, the next thing is gonna be image with text. Again, I like to keep this very general, so I'm just gonna take whatever general images that go with the season or holiday and input them here. And I'll show you a way that you can do it for absolutely free. I like taking advantage of pixels.com. I could type in something like winter people smiling. And all these images right here are non-copyrighted images that you have readily available to you, again, for absolutely free. I kinda like this one right here, so I'm gonna go ahead and download this. Here with the heading, this is what I like to use to go ahead and invite people to be in my business, a friendly opener, but also allowing them to know what our main mission statement is so again i could just put something like winter joy and then once you're done with that it should look something like this and you can take a screenshot if you want to use it as your example next thing you want to do is go ahead and add a feature collection now once you start adding products you can go ahead and put them in here but it's okay if you don't have any right out the gate when you're finished with that it should look something like this now the next thing i like to do is have my main feature product that i'm selling on my home page so if a customer sees my advertisement for the product that i'm selling and then they go to the product page but afterwards they go to the home page well i want to allow them to get right back as easy as possible and I like to do this just to increase the customer experience and the convenience of the customer as well. So that's why I said I like putting my main feature product right here once you go ahead and find out what that is. And this is just for an example right now, I'll just go ahead and select this product. I do like inputting this rich text right here. As you can see, I just inputted. That goes ahead and gives another little mission statement of the company all the way down to the email sign up. And you always wanna do this because email collecting is always gonna be a game changer with your online business. And you see, I just did that right here. Subscribe to our emails, enjoy special discounts and promos on us. The best part is that it's absolutely free. And that's about it for my homepage. And it only took me a couple seconds. And like I said, color congruency is very important. So I wanna show you how you can match up the colors on your logo to the same colors on your store. So first thing I did was come right back over here to the logo I created. I'm coming over here to the text color. And you see this little text down below where it says hashtag 38B6FF. Well, that's actually the code of the color that I'm actually using. So if I wanna make my store the exact same, all I gotta do is use the exact same code. So the next thing I would do is I'd come over here to theme settings, I'll come over here to colors, and anything that is not white or black, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it with that same color. And then once you go ahead and type it in, it should look something just like this, and you just wanna go all the way down with it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code and just keep it moving. Now, just like that, you have your homepage of your online store together, which again, just gives your store that tailored and professional look if customers start shopping around. And now it's time to get what's called your product page all together so that you can start selling today. This is where you're actually going to be promoting the product that you choose to sell. So you wanna make sure that this looks great. You do not want to give customers any reason not to buy solely because of your product page. So let me show you how to do that as well. When creating your product page, it is key to be thinking like the shopper. What that means is figuring out what main features and benefits that customers would potentially want to know about the product, having high quality images or gifts that correspond to those features and benefits, and making sure that you don't have paragraphs on paragraphs of text on your website. People are here to shop not read an entire novel. Making sure that you're actually promoting your deals and matching the colors of your product page to the same colors that you just used on your homepage are also little elements that make for a great product page. And we will get more in depth on the difference between a high quality money making product page and a low quality money losing product page in a little bit, but let me show you how to use your competition as inspiration to build a top tier product page real quick. So to do that, you'll come over here to products, and then you'll click on add a product. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and name your product. And you don't wanna just name it the same thing everyone else is naming it either. So instead of doing what everyone else is doing and naming it Baby Electric Nail Trimmer, I named it safely Baby Electric Nail Trimmer, again, to allow myself to stand out. Now in the product description, you just wanna highlight what the main reason why somebody would buy this product in the first place. And using this open statement to grab the customer's attention. 
Something like this. Protect your growing baby from scratching their own baby soft skin by softly trimming their nails. The main reason why someone would buy it in the first place. And then now after giving the solution with your product, this is where you're gonna go ahead and add a correlated GIF or image to what you're saying. Something just like this. And then you're just gonna keep going down feature, benefit, GIF or image, feature, benefit, GIF or image. And just like that, I just created a product page in only a couple minutes. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add our media. And now that I'm finished, this is a little bit of what the product page should look like. I mean, from the sale at the very top, to our logo, to a high clean image, down to our selling price and our compare price, down to the main reason why someone will buy the product, the solution and a gift for image, and so on and so forth. And boom, you will officially have your Shopify store set up. Now, before you launch, there are some apps that you're going to want to have on your store, especially if you want to go ahead and increase your sales. And I covered all my suggested apps in this video right here. Now that you know how your product page should be looking, I think it's just as important for you to know how it shouldn't be looking so you can avoid losing any money solely because your store looks like a scam. Now, this is a prime example of what not to do with your online store. Now with the saying random liquid errors and having this random logo out the gate and this random emoji just sitting here at the top of your store to having orange here, green here, black here, blue here. I mean, every color in the rainbow on the store. The title of the product looks absolutely terrible. I don't know why they would put MKPT44. We don't do guaranteed safe checkouts in 2023 drop shipping. The product description, I don't even think I have to say anything about this. You know that this is terrible. And honestly, this is probably one of the worst product pages I've seen in a while. So just take what they're doing and do the complete opposite. If you follow what we did today in this video, Shopify dropshipping can be the business model that can start making you money online and change the way that you think about what it makes to make money passively. Your store is officially up. It's time to start promoting your product, bring the customers in and start making sales. That took us all about 10 to 15 minutes to do, and I know that every single one of you watching has the potential to do the exact same thing. I just gave you the exact steps that you need to change the path of your life with your Shopify dropshipping business with, but that's only if you want to. And let me tell you right now, it's going to take work. There's going to be days that you're feeling discouraged, you're doubting yourself, and wondering if you're even doing the right thing. But it's all a part of allowing yourself to be a beginner and experience a new journey of making money online. You'll be surprised at what you can accomplish when you truly allow yourself to be a beginner at something, soak up all the new knowledge, and enjoy the journey while doing so. I hope that you allow yourself to become a beginner after watching this video and officially start your own dropshipping business because taking that same leap is what has helped allow my students generate results just like this as a complete beginner. And if this video inspired you to do that, show some love, smash that like button, share it to a friend who needs to see it as well. But before I leave you all to get to work, you know I cannot forget to announce the winner of the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call from last week's video and the winner from last week's video is Cameron Shepard Cameron congratulations on winning reach out to me on my Instagram at AC underscore Hampton we can hop on a one-on-one -on -one zoom call look over your ads look over your products and help you out with anything you may be having questions over and don't forget if you want the chance to win next week all you have to do is smash that like button down below and in the comment section down below comment the word entrepreneur with your biggest takeaway from this video I'll see you all next week this is AC with Supreme Ecom and I'm out when you got it like that like jake said we gonna spend it get it right back stack that internet money to the site crash they on ig try to get a light back see they don't talk that talk